our struggle for freedom and justice was a collective effort. Nelson Holitata Mandela was many different things to different people. A farm header, a student, a leader, a father, a foe, a man who could propel sporting teams to heights that seemed unattainable. He was a fashion and social icon, a man who healed a nation. The son of Kunu in the Eastern Cape became a beacon of hope, love and reconciliation to his people, his country and the world. Madiba will always be remembered for his dedication to freedom and democracy, his dogged determination to fight for equality and his selfless ability to forgive those who oppressed him and sent him to prison for 27 long years. Mandela was born on the 18th of July 1918. It was while studying at the University of Fort Hare that his political education also began. He proved to be a thorn in the side of the white government and was suspended for taking part in a protest with Oliver Tambo, another man who would go on to lead the ANC at a crucial stage in its history. South Africa is the country, country of many races. There is room for all the various races in this country. Together, they studied South Africa's first black law firm in Johannesburg, after Mandela studied law at Wirtz University. The young political activist joined the ANC in 1943 and went on to become its Youth League leader, helping to launch the Defiance Campaign in 1952. He rose through the ranks of the ANC and devoted his life to fighting the apartheid government, a calling which eventually saw him and other party leaders convicted of treason in 1964 during the infamous Rebonia trial. Madiba and a number of other struggle stalwarts were condemned to high security cells on Robben Island isolated from the world. Mandela spent 18 years on Robben Island before being transferred to Paulsmo Prison in 1982 and then to the Victor Fester Jail six years later. Throughout his time behind bars, Mandela remained steadfast in his ideals. It was F.W. de Klerk and his government who eventually relented. Prisoner 46664 was finally released from prison on the 11th of February, 1990. I stand here before you not as a prophet, but as a humble servant of you, the people. A place, the remaining years of my life, in your hands. But his fight for freedom was far from over. After his release, the ANC and the National Party entered into difficult and sometimes heated negotiations. They eventually bore fruit when in 1994, South Africa's first democratic elections were held. They were arguably Mandela's finest hour. As president, he continued his efforts to reconcile South Africa, forgiving his oppressors and assuring white citizens that they had an important role to play in the country. Mandela's influence extended beyond the union buildings and onto the sports field, where Madiba Magic spurred soccer teams, Olympians, and rugby players onto greatness. His influence was most evident a year into democracy at the 1995 Rugby World Cup. In 1999, at the age of 80, he stepped down as president. I now announce that I'm retiring from retirement. <laughs> However, his contribution to world peace and development didn't stop there. Through his life, Madiba continued to lend his support to the fight against AIDS and the caring of children through his work with the Nelson Mandela Foundation. Mandela also lived his private life in the public eye. He was married three times, first to Evelyn Ndogo Marse, whom he divorced after 13 years in 1957, then to Winnie Madigizela a year later. He divorced Winnie in 1992 before marrying Grasa Machel, the former Mozambican first lady, on his 80th birthday. Though he was hailed across the world, Mandela maintained he wasn't a saint and that he had his flaws. In 2010, 
the world was exposed to another side of the man with the release of the book Conversations with Myself, a collection of letters, diary entries, scribbles and light-hearted interactions with friends. The man who helped to change a country and brought people in the grips of conflict together, the man who inspired others to greatness, is no longer with us. But he will live on in history, forever an icon to generations to come, and a shining example of what the human spirit is capable of. Eyewitness News, in touch, in tune, and independent. For the latest, log on to ewn.co.za or ewn.mobi.